But it doesn't seem to matter which direction the zombies come from, whether they come from straight ahead, whether they come from around the back. As long as you build yourself a fighting position so you can keep yourself moderately safe, you can just stand here and you can just black zombies all night long. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be on planet Earth today. Hello and welcome back to seven days and another base building video. This one, this one's a really good one. This one, the zombie force field is back, baby. And I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's go. All right, we're going to start building this thing. Now, you can do this a number of ways. You can dig a pit. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig a very, very, very basic trench. And then I'm going to take you over to a POI that I've already been to. I've got one over here somewhere. It's got my bedroll and my land claim down in it. And I'm going to show you how this thing works for a blood moon in just a basic, ordinary, broken down, dilapidated POI. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to mark us out an area of seven by seven just to start with so we're just going to use our blocks we're just going to go one two three four five six seven so there we have a seven by seven area already marked out okay that's going to be the area that we're going to stand in now like i said you could dig that into a pit you could dig that any which um any which way you like but what all, I, all i'm going to do is i'm just going to dig a trench around the outside of this and we're just going to dig this four blocks deep and then i'm going to show you the blocks that you need to make it work so um i'll be back in just a second okay there we go all dug out four blocks deep and all the way around the edge now for the magic and the shape you want now there are a number of shapes as i said go check out pseudo posse's latest video about various zombie pathing and shapes the zombies will or won't path over but the shape that i use that i found worked the best effect and is the one that i used in the poi is you go into your windows menu here and you are looking for window store two-sided broken okay this works really well you got to do an advanced rotation you can build these out of any bed i mean they're, they're they're buildable out of any block i'm using concrete just for ju just for the just for the sake of argument okay so all we've got to do is we just got to place those so they are the same level as the terrain now i'm not doing anything particularly pretty here i'm just literally just placing the blocks if it will place and we'll do the same over here but we're going to leave a gap in the middle this is this is very important if you don't leave a gap in the middle the zombies will just stop and they'll dig and obviously you don't want zombies digging trying to undermine whatever it is that you've built your base on but there we go so you can see we have our trench all around the outside we have our window frames set horizontally and we have one gap in the middle here which we're just going to turn into a plate just going to do a plate we're going to advance rotate that make sure that's the same height as the rest of the window frame blocks and that is literally all you need to do the zombies we're going to spawn some zombies over here and what they're going to do with any luck is they're just going to walk all the way around the edge until they get over to this section here and then they're going to walk over and they're going to try and blast us. Now, this is obviously where, if you were doing this, this is this is where you would build your fighting position. But we'll do it with some nice slow-walking Arlenes to start with. So let's get a handful of Arlenes in there. Let's give up. A... As you can see, walking around, walking around. We've got a couple that have gotten stuck, but they're still walking around. You, behave yourself, and straight across the plate. Still walking around, straight across the plate. Flat, black. That's it. One zombie force field. That is all you need to do. The key is four blocks deep. Okay, it only needs to be one block wide, and use one of these shapes. Now, like I said, I like the um, I like the window frame shapes. Um, you can um, we can we can we, we can paint them up and we can make them look a little more visible. Uh, let's just. Uh, okay and there we are that's it done and done we've dug a trench four blocks deep 
we've lined it with window frames. I've painted them up in yellow so you can see them a little easier. And we stand in our position here in the middle. Zombies do not walk across this. I mean, you can. You have to kind of line it up right. But you absolutely can walk across these. But zombies just don't. They don't see it as a path. So, yeah. Um, build your fighting position. Build whatever you want. But what we're going to do now, as a th as a thorough test, is um, I'll show you my um, I'll show you my character stats. I've given myself I've got thirty six skill points to spend. I've given myself a million XP from day one. So I'm level thirty seven. I'm game stage forty four. I'm just going to very quickly teleport over to the other building so I can show you what I've done over there, and then we're going to run a blood moon, and you can see how the thing works in action. And here we are over here at Wax Manor, which is an old remnant wood built house. That you can find in almost every random gen map on the world it should work for any POI of around this size. Your mileage may vary if you try a larger POI. Um, I never actually, I really, really, really want to take on one of those modern build houses and see if it will work over there. Um, but I haven't done it yet. Maybe that's something that I can do in a um, in a in a different playthrough. But yeah, we were over here at Wax Manor, an old dilapidated remnant POI that I came over and cleared out already. And you can see here, four blocks deep in a trench all the way around the edge covered in our window frames with one plate there and we've left the fighting position here now i've painted the stuff a different color I've painted the windows yellow the window frames yellow so you can see how they work and i've painted the other stuff red for the stuff that we've added except for those concrete steps which i missed but um i haven't changed anything else about the entire poi um added a door at the side for easy ingress and egress so we could just walk in here. That's our fighting position. You can see here the house is completely... It's exactly as you would find it. Exactly as you would find it. There is nothing different. I've not changed anything. I haven't upgraded any materials. I haven't upgraded anything in the house at all. So, yeah, there we go. That's it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a blood moon. And we're just going to see what happens. And here we go. The blood Moon is beginning. We're keeping an eye out through the back door. You can see here I've got the back door wide open. That back door's wide open as well. And here come the zombies. Straight up to our little cage fighting position. Now you can stand here with whatever weapon you want. Anything at all. Spears, pistols, clubs, stun batons. Anything at all. Oops, Daisy, just don't get too close because they get a little uh, they get a little antsy from time to time. Oh, we're out of stamina. And we got blacked through the bars by a zombie. We got infected as well. But you can see they're not pathing anywhere. They are not pathing anywhere different. You can see they're coming from around here. It's actually quite hard to see. But we're um we're getting beaten up. Actually, put myself in god mode so I don't die. But yeah. There's our zombies, all running up, all piling up at the front door. Absolutely nothing else going on. They're not trying to path any other way. They're not trying to path any other way other than up to these steps. And all we have to do is just stand here and just wait for them. So if for any reason you are completely and utterly sick and tired of um, having to build bases that are four blocks off the ground and you're fed up with jumping up and down ladders and stuff to get in and out of your base and you see a really nice POI and you think, oh yeah, I'd really like to live there, but I can't live on the ground floor because the zombies are going to come and black everything. Well, now you can now you can and they are they're so predictable in their pathing they're coming the same way every single time see they're running all the way around the house still running all the way around the house there there's arlene running up towards the door there's a there's a few more they're all running from over this way now as well i mean that's 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 basically that's that's it. That's the whole. That's the whole thing. 
So, um, by all means, feel free. Knock up your own base designs. Do your own stuff. Do your own thing. Try it on different size POIs. Try it on custom build bases. Try it on, on drop pits and try it on killing corridors and various other things. Let me know your mileage down in the comments. I'd really like to hear how you managed to make this base work. And there we are. Blood Moon is over. Cage completely intact and not a single zombie got across the force field. Nothing came in through the back door at all. Nothing tried to get in through the sides. We had one minor hiccup overnight where the dogs were coming around the side and trying to get over there and through the door. But I'm sure with a little bit more fixing up, you know, maybe making those... Um, Maybe extending the cage out to the side a little bit, and making it a little bit higher, blocking it off completely to make it so the zombie so, so the zombie dogs can't get up there at all would work. But there it is: how to zombie-proof a basic wood-built POI with just one block shape and a little bit of digging. In the comments, please, please, please. I'm really curious to know whether or not you guys are um, you're going to try this out on various different POIs. Let me know what your mileage is like. Let me know whether you did a custom build POI. Let me know whether you use an existing POI. Just let me know what you think. And there we are at the end of the video. A massive shout out to Pseudo Posse for discovering all the different block shapes that zombies don't like to walk on. And a shout out to Jawoodle as well for the concept for the idea of the zombie force field. Great to see it working so well in Alpha 21. But this video is done. If you like the content, please leave us a thumbs up and also drop us a subscription to the channel. It's completely free. It takes you two seconds, but it really, really, really does help me out an awful lot. Okay, so all that is left for me to say, ladies and gentlemen, is until next time, remember, be good. If you can't be good, be good at it. I was Hell's Janitor. This was Seven Days to Die. You guys were awesome. I really do appreciate you watching. I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next video. But until then, it's a goodbye from me.